in this video i will consider one numerical on design of digital filter design an ir digital butterworth filter that when used in the analog to digital with digital to analog will satisfy the following equivalent specification low pass filter with minus 1 db cut off 100 pi radians per second stop band attenuation is 35 db at 1000 pi radians per second monotonic in stop band and pass band sampling rate of 2000 rate per second we suppose to use bilinear transformation so here let me write the given kp is given which is equal to minus 1 db ks is given which is minus 35 db passband frequency is given omega p which is 100 pi radians per second. Similarly, omega s top band frequency is given which is 1000 pi radians per second. So in design of digital IR filter using bilinear transformation, the step one will be we should obtain the digital frequencies that is obtain digital frequencies so we know that omega is equal to omega t here this omega is known as digital frequency whereas this omega is known as analog frequency so here omega p can be calculated as omega p is equal to we have omega p into t which is equal to omega p is given that is 100 pi into t so t is nothing but here the sampling rate is given which is fs is equal to 2000 radians per second therefore t is equal to 1 upon fs which is nothing but 1 upon 2000 so let me take t equal to 1 upon 2000 that is 1 upon 2000 which is equal to we have 0 0.05 pi radians similarly let me calculate omega s which is equal to omega s into t which is equal to here omega s is 1000 pi 1000 pi into 1 upon 2000 which is equal to, I will keep this pi as it is, 1000 by 2000 is 0 0.5 pi radian. Calculate pre-warp edge frequencies in step 2, that is obtain pre-warp band edge frequencies. So here we should assume let t is equal to one second the formula is given by omega p dash is equal to 2 by t we have tan omega p by 2 so here this omega is digital frequency and this omega is analog frequency which is equal to we have assumed t as 1 we have tan the omega p value is already calculated that is 0 0.05 pi so it is 0 0.05 pi divided by 2 which is equal to so here solving this we'll get 0 0.1574 radians per second similarly now let me calculate pre-warp stop band edge frequency that is omega dash s is equal to 2 by t it is tan we have omega s by 2 which is equal to 2 by 1 we have tan so omega s is already calculated that is 0 0.5 pi 0 0.5 pi divided by 2 so solving this it gives 2 radians per second we supposed to design analog low pass filter it is not possible to design digital filter directly 
first we suppose to design analog filter then we suppose to convert analog filter into digital filter now let me calculate the analog filter that is the design analog low pass butterworth filter So to design the Butterworth filter, first we are supposed to calculate order of the filter that is n. So n is given by the formula, we have n is equal to log 10 power minus 0 0.1 kp minus 1 divided by 10 power minus 0 0.1 ks minus 1 divided by 2 log so here we have to consider pre-warp edge frequency that is omega dash p divided by omega dash s. So let me simplify this that is log we have 10 power minus 0 0.1 into kp value is minus 1 it is minus 1 divided by we have 10 power minus 0 0.1 into ks is minus 35 minus 1 and in denominator we have 2 log omega dash p that is 0 0.1574 divided by omega dash s is 2 so let me simplify this further that is we get n is equal to log so here the value of the numerator we will get it as 0 0.2 25 0.25892 divided by the value of the denominator will be that is 10 power 0.1 into 35 minus 1 it gives 3162.2766 whole thing divided by we have here 2 log 0 0.1574 divided by 2 solving this it gives minus 2080 two, so solving this numerator it gives minus 4.0866 divided by we have minus 2.2080 so solving this it gives n is equal to 1.85 so we approximately it is equal to 2 so therefore the order of the filter is n is equal to 2 now let me calculate the cutoff frequency omega c the cutoff frequency omega c can be calculated as that is omega c is equal to we have omega dash p divided by 10 power minus 0 0.1 into kp minus 1 power 1 by 2n now let me substitute the values omega dash p is 0 0.1574 we have divided by 10 power minus 0 0.1 into minus 1 minus 1 its whole power is 1 by n is equal to 2 it will be 4 so simplifying this it gives 0 0.2206 radians per second so therefore the cutoff frequency omega c is 0 0.2206 radians per second Now let me write the normalized transfer function that is normalized transfer function for n is equal to 2 is given by we have h2 of n order of the filter is 2 which is given by 1 over a square plus root 2s plus 1 
so now by using analog to analog transformation we can get the desired analog filter the, so the the desired analog filter i will represent it as ha of s which can be obtained by h2 of s provided that each s should be replaced by s by omega c that is analog to analog transfer transformation omega c is cutoff frequency which is equal to s divided by the cutoff frequency obtained is 0 0.2206 that is 0 0.2206 now therefore i can write ha of s is equal to we have 1 divided by so each s in this should be replaced by s by 0 0.2206 that is s divided by 0 0.2206 square plus we have root 2 into s divided by 0 0.2206 plus 1 so simplifying this i can get ha of s is equal to here we can see that 0 0.2206 square will come as a lcm so that will go on numerator that is 0 0.2206 square and in denominator we get a square plus here we have root 2 into we get 0 0.2206 yes plus we have 0 0.2206 square HA of S is equal to 0 0.0486 divided by we have S square plus 0 0.3119 S plus 0 0.0486 so this is the desired analog filter now with the help of transformation that is bilinear transformation we supposed to convert analog filter into digital filter now now using bilinear transformation analog filter can be converted into digital filter the digital filter is represented by h of z which is obtained by analog filter H of S provided that so in bilinear transformation each S should be replaced by 2 into 1 minus Z inverse divided by 1 plus Z inverse so H of S is this one so in this equation we should replace S by 2 into 1 minus Z inverse divided by 1 plus Z inverse let me simplify this so therefore I can write h of z is equal to the numerator i will keep it as it is 0 0.0486 divided by s square that is 2 into 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse square plus 0 0.3119 into we have 2 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse plus 0 0.048 let me simplify this further that is h of z is equal to in numerator we have 0 0.0486 this 1 plus z inverse square will come on numerator divided by we have here 2 square will be 4 and we have 1 minus z inverse square plus multiplication of these two it gives 0 0.6238 here we have 1 minus z inverse into 1 here the LCM will be 1 plus z inverse square so one term will get cancelled it will be 1 plus z inverse plus 0 
we have 1 plus z inverse square. Let me simplify this further or I can write h of z is equal to we have on numerator 0 0.0486 into 1 plus z inverse square divided by let me simplify that equation 1 minus z inverse square it gives 1 plus z inverse minus 2z inverse plus here we have a plus b a minus b form that is after simplifying that I can write 0 0.6238 into 1 plus b a plus b a minus b it is a square minus b square that is 1 minus z power minus 2 plus we have 0 0.04 a plus z power minus 2 plus 2z inverse let me simplify further that is h of z is equal to I'll keep numerator as it is 0 0.0486 1 plus z inverse square divided by we have let me multiply this 4 plus 4z inverse minus 8z power minus 1 is supposed to be 2 so this is supposed to be 2 plus here we have 0 0.6238 minus 0 0.6238 z power minus 2 plus simplifying this I can get 0 0.0486 plus 0 0.0486 z power minus 2 plus we have 0 0.0972 z power minus 1. So simplifying this further I can write h of z is equal to numerator is 0 0.0486 1 plus z inverse square whole divided by so simplifying this entire equation I can get 4.6724 minus 7.9028 z inverse plus 3.4248 z power minus 2. So now let me divide numerator and denominator by 4.6724 that is divide numerator and denominator by 4.6724 therefore I can get h of z is equal to in numerator I will get 0 0.0104 1 plus z inverse square so denominator 4.6724 divided by the same thing it will be 1 minus this term divided by 4.67 it gives 1.6913 z inverse plus 3.4248 divided by 4 it gives 0 0.732 z power minus 2. So this is the desired ex expression that is h of z. Thank you.